so then let her believe it, I guess. But um, as I, I was watching her videos yesterday and today, it's no, fucking mom. yeah. Okay, I don't give a shit. Come on, you said I didn't have the box. You talking all this shit about me, and I don't even know what's going on. So talk to me as a woman. Let's go. We're about to get this shit straight, because I ain't never said a bad word about her. She ended her live. She needs to message me or something, like, ASAP. Because I don't understand what the fuck is going on. Tommy's. What? Not you. Uh, no, I want to know why she's talking about me because I ain't never, ever, ever talked bad about this girl. I didn't Here's how we're going to stop making excuses and learn those languages next year. You throw on a little pimsler and you do the chores you had to do. No, there was any issues. And instead of her coming to me, she's talking about me and has that girl who's been lying on me and slandering my name as her moderator. Like, why? She could have just come to me and asked me, Buckeyes is my friend. Why didn't anybody come to me? No, get out of my face for a second, Tommy. Ashley, I need you to explain to me. Get into it, shall we? This is going to be a raw and cut video, period, poo. Um, so, there is a video going around. This whole live stream is actually on my YouTube. The link is in the description. Feel free to go watch the whole thing for yourself. And uh, to the friend that this is regarding, I'm sorry to have to rehatch all this up, but I do want to explain this. Not because I have to, because I'm going to. Because I want to show you all how easily y'all will fall for someone's bullshit. So... In the video clip that a particular fake account, troll account, whatever, um, shared, they shared uh, where I threw my hand up at my husband, and you can hear like a popping sound. Now, I couldn't exactly remember what that was, so I had to go back and watch the content. Tommy and I thought it was at the part where I threw my hand up to get them to stop trying to um force the phone on me and stuff and to see certain things but that wasn't the part we were mistaken after i went back and viewed the content i realized that there was one point in that live somewhere that um he was and he was you know anyways he was trying to tell me what was being said and stuff it, I was highly upset in this live. Um, at the time, I had found out a really close friend um, was... Um, no, he knew about people talking about me and making up lies on me and all of that. And, you know, he was... You can just go watch the whole live. I'm not going to rehatch all of that. Honestly, he has owned up to everything. He has apologized. Him and I both have already moved past that. And I hate to have to even bring this up right now because of that. Um, so keep in mind when you do watch that, also go watch his video on his page. Do you remember Buckeyes' um, tag name now? Buckeyes' tag name. Bucky Baby 97. That way you can see his apology video and stuff. I feel like that's only fair. We have already moved past this. Um, in that video, I was highly upset because at the time I found all this out. I also found another creator, AV, who's pretty big on here. Um, started feeding into all this girl's BS. The girl DF we call her. Um, she is tied to the father of my kids. My father and kids told her some lies. I can't, I guess she went and found him at some point, whatever, whatever. And, um, then she started harassing and stalking me. And just and then from that, it just smote, snowballed. She started trying to go to people that I care about or bigger creators, display this narrative and get them to feed in her 
BS. A lot did. A lot also didn't. Um, so, um, at the time, I was very hurt by my friend, um, Bucky, Buckeyes. I don't know why I'm calling him Bucky, Buckeyes. Uh, because, you know, he knew that this DF girl had been going around slandering my name, lying, stalking, harassing me and stuff. And I had already asked him a couple of weeks prior if he was this girl's friend and stuff. And he had told me no and things to that nature and, you know, all that. And so, when I found out, because I had no clue any of this was going on. Apparently, these people were on live talking about me for um, a few days or something like that. And um, I had no clue. I had even rolled up into the girl's live to tell her that I got my main account back because she's one of the people who encouraged me to keep fighting. And apparently, before I rolled up into that live, they were talking about me. I had no clue because somebody was doing it when I was there. Um... I had just recently been on her videos showing love and supporting and all that. Um, sorry, my headphone fell out. And so, when I found all this out, I didn't want to believe it at first. I thought it was just the trolls starting stuff because that's what they do. Um, they try to get creators to go back and forth. Or if some drama has popped off between creators, they like to keep that shit pause stirred up. So, um... I didn't believe it at first until my husband come in there and was like, yeah, they are. And um, he had checked the people that were in there. And uh, my friend was one of them. And I was really hurt by that because I'm like, why? You know, first of all, why didn't you come and at least tell me these people were talking about me? And why would you be there as they're talking about me? And things like that. So, I was really upset to find all this out. I also allowed this girl to get me out of my element. You know, I have always said you're in control of how you feel, how you react and handle things and stuff like that. But hell, even I'm human too. And sometimes, you know, I... um do exactly that as far few and in between but it still happens you know i'm human and i did let this girl get me out of my element i was so pissed that um she was doing all of this i was hurt by my friend i mean it's very apparent and i do cuss in general so and i'm telling tommy to give me the gd phone i'm not really cussing at him i'm cussing in general because i'm that upset about the situation well um I thought, we thought it was a whole different part, but anyways, at, somebody shares, is sharing a piece of a clip, which that's what they do, um, they, they share a piece, or they sh will share a whole one if they think that they could spin the narrative, the full narrative to what they want, anyways, they're sharing this clip of me throwing my hand up, and you can hear this popping sound in the background, and they're saying that I hit Tommy, that's not true. Actually, what that is, um, is my shoe tapping the ground. I thought um, it was uh, at the point where my hand had hit his phone, but it wasn't. I had to go back and listen a couple of times, and I realized what it was, because I'm like, what is that sound? And it was my shoe, because as I threw my hand up, I stomped my foot. And I'll show you the shoes that I was wearing at the time. It was these, and allow me to demonstrate real quick too. So, I threw my hand up, and it was like that. So when I threw my hand up, do you, and, you know? Yeah, you gotta do it a little more angrily because you was upset at the time. Um, so that probably made a lot more sound. Than Tommy, <laughs> well I don't think it really made that much of a sound, but Tommy, I can't, well I just listened to it, it wasn't that bad. But you, you hear that shoe? And then if you listen into the whole video, you can actually hear them shoes tapping on the ground as I'm angrily walking. Um, like you know what I'm saying, can you hear it now? You see? So when my hand went up and I happened to stomp my foot on the ground, that's that popping noise they are displaying as me hitting my husband. That That's how far people will go to make something into something that it's not. And that's how easily a lot of you can be fooled. Instead of trying to ask and understand and things like that, you accuse, you assume, and you go with the narrative being that's displayed. Awesome. I'm pretty sure if you'd have hit me, that live, YouTube live would have been a little more interesting than what was going on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. But, um, 
you know, people are going to say and do whatever. And it's up to you to use your mind and common sense and do your research. Um, just like there is a video of us going around where... I have my husband, the belt, isn't, isn't it the belt around your neck or something like that? And I'm acting like I'm hitting them and stuff. That was a funny skit we made to throw the hate back at the people who were accusing me of treating my husband like a slave, hitting him and controlling him. Um, now, the hashtags, Tommy, I, we can't remember, ex I can't remember exactly what he put, and we can't go back to the main account now to see them hashtags. We still have the video, but we can't like see I the said, hashtags. No I was worried whether it was domestic violence or hashtag domestic, hashtag slavery, or whatever. It was never meant with the intention of making fun of any race, whether it was African Americans or any other kind of race of people that went through slavery. Absolutely not. It was not meant to make fun of domestic violence. It was a friggin' joke, considering that's what the trolls were corresponding was going on in my household. Exactly. And I would never, everybody knows I'm an advocate for the black community. I have spoke on it several times since being on this platform on all of my accounts. A lot of times it gets shadow banned or reported and taken down. Um, and I started realizing I couldn't even put Black Lives Matter or anything because the video would not be seen or it would be taken down. And I have even wrote into the TikTok about this and everything else. And I just noticed other stuff I have talked on. Um, you know, I can tell a difference in how the black community is treated on TikTok versus the white community. Um, if, if we're splitting it up into communities, I don't like doing that. But, you know, that's how some people refer to it. But anyways. TikTok community. Yeah, because no we are all one. No colors involved. Right. Um we're all people at the end of the day and people know how much the black community means to me and that's why they're spinning this narrative and a lot of y'all are falling for it and it's like this i have explained this several times uh you know i have showed proof it's been reported and taken down this video will probably be taken down um and then i'll end up having to post it on my youtube or something we'll see what happens with that uh, y'all have to realize that people on TikTok, when they're after somebody, they'll do anything to bring them down. And they're mad they can't do that. And that's why they get all these big creators involved. Started and, with Ashley, moved to Trashley, and now it's on the Aunt Karen. Yep. Yeah, and then there was another creator. But anyways, um, the point is... <laughs> what is it? What is this called? Um... What is it? I, there's a word for it. A smear campaign, basically. The cyberbullying, cyber, <laughs> cyber harassment, whatever. And I don't allow these things to affect me. They don't affect me in real life because I know my intention behind everything I do. I know who I am as a person. I'm only on here explaining it because I want to, not because I actually have to. Um, well, cyber terrorism also because you're worried about people putting your address out, which has happened. And now you got people threatening to come to your job and start a bunch of BS. So. Oh, I ain't worried about that. I'll uh, just get no, escorted out. It, that's what it is. Well, it is, but I, I don't allow that stuff to affect me. They've already called the police over here. I mean, they have done the most, and they're mad because it hasn't get, gotten them the reaction they want, because what they want is a reaction like you see here in this video. And it's like I said before, I don't care if you got one follower, no followers, or 10 billion followers. Ain't nothing you're going to say or do going to affect anything. Yep, and it's like this, you know. As creators, we have a duty to make sure when we share something, we fully look into something and try to make sure what we are spreading awareness on is accurate and that we're not a part of spreading the lie. Um, and if somebody tells you they got certain things going on in their life and they're dealing with, just simply respect that. Have a one-on-one -on -one conversation if you feel so passionately about it. Um, I do believe it's all of you motivated, though. Um like, I can respect what is done until you start doing it to people who don't deserve it. And, you know, the fact that I do speak so highly of the black community and I have um, always been an advocate. Like, I don't put up with racism. I've cut off my own family members because of that. I take it very seriously. My husband will tell you how I am about that kind of stuff. Anybody that knows me knows how I am when it comes to that stuff. I would never, ever, ever 
ever in my life make fun of slavery or anything else. And I don't have to go on someone's platform and do a whole live to prove that. Because I prove it with action every day in real life and on TikTok. Um, simple. And I'm going to treat you the same no matter if you have one follower or 1.8 million followers. And that's just how that is.